I'm a senior lecturer in science communication, which means that my expertise is looking at how we can have conversations with the general public and not just tell them about science, but also co-create and so that we can help to develop genuine two-way communication between experts and non-experts. Science communication is something that's really important and passionate to me because science is something that I fell in love with at a really early age and has helped to shape my academic career but also my personal life. So I want to give as many people as possible the opportunity to experience science. Science is an incredibly empowering thing but if people aren't aware of it then they can't benefit from its massive potential. So that's why I think science communication is important to be able to enable other people to be empowered by science. The ways that I like to teach are the similar ways that I do my practice in terms of science communication, which is doing things differently depending on the audience. So rather than just doing something with the class, assuming that this is the best thing that they will enjoy, it's having a conversation with them at the beginning and saying, what kind of things are you interested in? What kind of learning styles do you like? What kind of teaching styles do you like? And what I try all the time to do is to introduce interdisciplinarity. So I'm a scientist, but I'm also a poet. And pigeonholing can be a really difficult thing, especially with undergraduate students. We don't want to tell people that they're only a scientist or that they're only a poet, but instead they're people with infinite potential and it's really important at that stage in their careers to introduce them to all these different areas and all these different successes that Manchester Met has across the entire university. So I really try to incorporate interdisciplinarity into all of my teaching practices. One project that I've been working with the students on recently that I'm very excited about is the Sci Art Unit that we have, which is an interdisciplinary unit between students from the Faculty of Science and Engineering and students from the Manchester School of Art and just having those students working together and coming up with challenges and what does it mean, what does sci art mean, what does science mean, what does art mean and hearing those conversations talking about process, talking about failure, talking about method, methodology is really interesting and it's not just important for the students, it's important for me as well and hearing those conversations and doing that teaching directly feeds into my own research and practice so that it enables me to have a genuinely symbiotic nature between the three elements of my academic career which are research, teaching and engagement and teaching is at the absolute heart of that relationship. When I'm teaching I'm also learning so it's as much about what the students teach me as what I teach them and whenever I'm working with students or when I'm working with my fellow colleagues I feel genuinely blessed that I'd be able to work in such a great institute where every single day is a learning experience from which I greatly benefit from.